Welcome back to another video. A universal time has finally updated. There is a lot of new content, including 6 new specs and stands. Our goal for this video is to obtain the 3 new specs. Anshan, Umbra and Brick Battle. I plan to make a separate video for the new stands, so stay tuned for that. As you may have already noticed, the map changed again. It is way bigger and looks fantastic. I haven't experienced any significant FPS drops or lag, so I think this is a major improvement to the game. Let's obtain the first new spec, Brick Battle. We begin the quest by talking to Builder Man, located at the skate park. He wants us to help him find 7 different items. They spawn around the map at a relatively fast rate. One of them already spawned next to me, so this shouldn't take us long. Wow. It took us less than 5 minutes to find all the items. We will now talk to build a man again while having all 7 items in our toolbar. He will take them and reward us with brick battle. That was easy. Let's do a quick showcase before we move on. That's all the skills. Your torso's color shows which team you are in, and you can change it by resetting your character. Your skills color will also change depending on your team. It is a great spec inspired by Doomspire, one of Roblox's greatest and oldest games. Alright, now let's obtain Anshin and Umbra. They can be purchased through the stand storage NPC. The prices are quite high, and we need a total of 1.5 million new coins. I guess we will be grinding for a while. Mobs and bosses also got a rework, and I wouldn't say I like it. They are more buggy and annoying to fight against. I don't know how their testers didn't give any opinions about this. They must be either held at gunpoint, or wanted to do some trolling. Anyways let's farm to 500k and purchase Sanchen first. I will rely on just a little, because I don't think my heart can handle this. We finally got enough to purchase Sanchen. Let's buy it and test it out. The Ancient spec has a more extended range in its swings. The skills effects and animations look spectacular, and they surpassed my expectations. Anshin is also the second spec to have an instant kill ability. It is much faster than Reapers, which I prefer. For some reason, Anshin is updated in the PvP arena. I'm not sure why it isn't updated in the main game, but I will show you the difference. Pierce you clean 
those were all the changes that I could find. Some background story about Anshin, the person who designed it wanted the suit user to be a female, which may be why they made the pose look more feminine. That's all I have to say. Let's get back to the video. Now we are going to obtain Umbra. It costs 1 million U coins making it the most expensive spec in the game. We have to start over from zero again. So wish me luck. We finally got enough few coins to buy Umbra. I know this spec isn't new, but it became obtainable in this update, so I never tried it out before. There goes all of our U coins. Now let's try it out before ending the video. Those are all the skills for Umbra. Umbra was unobtainable before this update, and only a few people had this spec. I'm sure many people would want to get it now that it's obtainable. I wish the developer spent some time thinking about its obtainment method, since this is one of the most boring ways to obtain a cool spec like Umbra. That's it for this video. It was quite a turn off to farm thugs for the first day of the update, and I wish Anshin and Umbra had a more exciting obtainment method. We will obtain all the new stands in the following video. Consider leaving a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. You are going to listen to nothing for the outro because I'm having a breakdown with copyright.